హలో గాయస్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు మై యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ టెక్ ఆడియో మై నేమ్ ఇస్ భరత్ కుమార్ సో గాయస్ ఐఎమ్ వెల్కమింగ్ యూ టు ద ఎపిసోడ్ నెంబర్ టూ ఆఫ్ జెమ్నై సిరీస్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు స్టార్ట్ ఏ ఫస్ట్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ ఆన్ టెక్స్ట్ జనరేషన్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ కాన్సెప్ట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ సెలెక్టెడ్ ఏ ప్రాజెక్ట్ అండ్ ద ప్రాజెక్ట్ నేమ్ ఇస్ లాంగ్వేజ్ ట్రాన్స్లేటర్ రైట్ సో బిఫోర్ స్టార్టింగ్ విత్ ద ప్రాజెక్ట్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు షో యూ ద డెమో లైక్ వాట్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు బిల్డ్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో so guys you can see it is a project that we are going to build in this video looks cool and simple right so here so here you have to give the language i mean here you have to give the text that you want to translate in the source language i have given this options source language is english target language is telugu so here just press on translate you can see it give the response నమస్కారం మీరు ఎలా ఉన్నారు ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ తెలుగు ట్రాన్స్లేషన్ ఫ్రమ్ ఇంగ్లీష్ టు తెలుగు గాడ్ ఇట్ ఇట్స్ అ వెరీ సింపుల్ అండ్ ఎఫెక్టివ్ రైట్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు బిల్డ్ దిస్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ సో గైస్ ప్లీజ్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ టు మై యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ అండ్ ఆల్సో గివ్ మీ సమ్ సపోర్ట్ గాడ్ ఇట్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు గివ్ మీ ఎనీ సజెషన్స్ ప్లీజ్ కామెంట్ ఇట్ డౌన్ ఐఎమ్ హ్యాపీ టు సీ దట్ సో గైస్ ఆర్ యూ ఎగ్జైటెడ్ లెట్స్ బిగిన్ ద కోడింగ్ ఫర్ దిస్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ యా సో గైస్ before going with the project i just want to give you the working of text generation so in the text generation you can work creative writing like you can tell model to write a poem or to write a summary or to write a story and also you can tell describing or interpreting media assets you can work on this also media assets text completion summarizing free form text translating between languages chatbots your own novel use cases so in this working i have taken this translating between languages it is the project that we are going to do in this particular video as usual in the video number 1 i have discussed about this inputs you can give model input text audio video and image you will get only the text as an output make a note of this so guys remember i am telling it again input you can give this four it is known as the multimodal input text audio video image output you will get only the text got it so these are the workings of text generation so in this i have taken language translation got it so it is the code that we are going to execute it for the first time so import os and dot env these are the two packages that i installed because here you can directly give your api key but i used dot env no one can see my google api key so before that you have to create your own api key it is a ui that i shown you in the last video so like that just click on the get api key here you can create your own api key select a project data retrieval create a project name or select a project name create api key you can see it gave this api key you can directly copy this api key but here i am not using this api key so i can delete my api key so like that copy that api key then come back create a dot env file dot env in the dot env just take this give equal type your key like this don't give any inverted commas got it just put it like this your code will work exactly so here os is for reading the dot env file from the dot env i am loading dot env genai dot configure os dot get env so that from this dot env i will get directly my api key instead of giving it here got it or else you can directly put remove this put your key with the inverted commas it will work so these are the imports and loading the model is completed the next is generation config you have to give some configurations i mean set up the model temperature top probability top maximum output tokens got it these are the four parameters that i gave to the model so let's see this parameters top k it selects a fixed number of mostly likely tokens based on the individual probabilities higher k more diverse output so when you give it higher it will give the more diversify out it will try to give more information top p it selects tokens based on cumulative probabilities until a threshold is reached higher p more diverse output here we have given 0.8 it means 80% so it will work up to the 80 percent only i mean it will try to select the words up to the 80% only based on a given question for example i ask this question who is the prime minister of the india 
so it will try to take only the 80 percent of words which is available from the model then it will give the answer got it and the temperature it controls the randomness of generated text higher temperature more random and creative output but here i just don't want to get the more randomness so i gave only 0.2 so it won't interrupt more randomness into the response got it so it is a generation config coming to the model here i'm initializing my model here you can see here i'm getting only the api key here i give the model configuration i mean the parameters now i need to give the model name here i gave gemini 1.5 flash so guys for this project i have decided to use this flash model then in the config just pass this config got it in the response i'm just giving the model so i have taken this variable response model dot generate context here you need to give your question who is the prime minister of india i have given you can see it is giving the current prime minister of india is narendra modi he has been in the office since 2014 got it now let me try with the other question who is the ceo of google you can see here the ceo of google is sundar pichai got it now here who is the author of python programming the author of python programmer is guido van rossum see it gave correct answer author of python programming languages guido van rossum and you can see it give the correct year also in the 1991 in my python series i told you this year got it so like this you can get the response from the model it is a first step so guys in the first step we got response from the model so in this second step i'm just going to add only this one function translate text up to here the top code is same i'm just taking this response and putting in this function got it so in this function i'm going to pass this three input parameters first is text second one is source language third one is target language for example we are converting english to telugu source is english target is telugu like that so in the prompt what i am telling means translate the following text from source language to target language and here i am passing my text got it so guys you can see i am passing my response in the try block return response dot text for example if something went wrong in this lines of code it will execute this exception got it so that i don't want to stop my execution of code so that's why i'm using here try and accept block so in my previous videos i explained in detail about this try and accept blocks got it so in the source text give hello how are you source language english target language hindi translate text equal to here i have taken one variable and then i'm calling my function and passing all this variables let me try to execute this you can see i got this output namaste aap kaise ho got it so guys you can see we got the output from the model english to hindi so almost 70% of our project has done already we just need to integrate it to the ui here you have to install streamlit pip install streamlit str em streamlit i have already installed it so i don't want to do it again got it so go to this file and create a language.py you can see up to here my code is same i'm using the same code here i just imported import streamlit as st got it up to here the code is same and then i have taken one more function as a main function i'm writing my title streamlit dot title you can see it is my website title and also source language as text here i'm using text input you can give input as a text source text equal to i'm just giving the text input so that we can able to give the input to the model source language select box in this select box i have given this four list of items i mean the languages english french spanish german in the target i have given english french 
Spanish, German, Telugu and Hindi. So that you can add as many languages you want to add. So if button dot click, if someone clicks this button translate, I need to call this function translate text. It will be called if someone press on that button. So I'm passing my source text language source language dot lower target language dot lower. I'm just converting all cases to the lower case only. And then in the text area, I'm printing my output. Got it? Here I'm calling the main function. So let me try to execute this. Streamlit run language dot py. So guys, you can see our website is running. Yeah, you can see I got it right. So here I just want to give the same text that I shown you in the demo. Hello, how are you doing? English and then Hindi. Translate. You can see I got the output. So here I just want to try with the more number of context. So guys, you can see from this website, I'm just copying this text. Click on this and then copy. Copy. Just come to the model. Paste. Source language English. Target is Hindi. Translate. Yeah, you can see it translated into Hindi completely. We can do one thing. We can translate to Telugu as well. Yeah, I got the response. Got it. So guys, our project is completed. So guys, share your experience in the comments. I'll give you this code in the description below. So you can use this code. You can modify the UI according to your use case. And also you can change the UI with the HTML, CSS, ReactJS, so many kind of technologies. The concept is how we are doing, right? Here we are just telling to the model in the prompt template, translate language, translate the following text from source to target. And it is my text. I'm just giving only this information in the prompt template. Got it? So our first project is completed. In the next video, I'll come up with another project. So guys, I'm requesting you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also give me some support. Even I'm new to this technology, I'm trying to learn as much as I can. Got it? If I made any mistakes or if, if any suggestions that you want to give to me, please comment it down. I'll take it positively.